Hello everyone, Crystal Vigia here, and welcome to Thunderstruck. I don't remember this level one iota. Um, maybe I do actually, let's have a look. I, actually, I, I think I may remember this one. Um, but if it's anything, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, later on in, in the, like, the last world, it's all like, kind of like electric, like, hence the name Electron Avenue, one of those levels. Uh, one of Rabbit Wombat JR, my friend, one of my friend's, uh, favourite levels. Um, I think I do remember this, let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Actually, do I remember? Oh, what the f Holy shit. Oh my god, okay, this game, it, you know what, it just, it makes me genuinely upset that they didn't continue Crash in, in this capacity. You know, like, look, just hire Charles and all the other designers from fucking Vicarious Visions, they have got the vision, they, they're visionaries, hence the name Vicar Vicarious Visions. They have a vision for the past, they have a vision for the future, and now they're making Skylanders, and I'm sure they're getting a lot of money from that, but you know what? Crash Bandicoot could have been a Skylanders popular franchise. I mean, it was. It was more popular than Skylanders back in the day. You know, in terms of the market that, that existed, the Child's Market was nowhere near as popular back in the day, I could imagine. Or not not in the same way the Child's Market is popular now. You know what I mean? With Skylanders being like a phenomenon. You know, like that kind of didn't exist as much in those old days. You know, at least that's, you know, my parents kind of noted. And, you know, it was like video game consoles were popular and stuff, but not at the level they are now where they're just so accessible to everyone, you know, like back in the day consoles did cost a lot of money and they, you know, and they still do now, but okay, what I'm trying to say is firstly, this rain is really distracting and secondly, um, the pretzels are making me thirsty and thirdly, um, it is kind of, yeah, like, you know, Skylanders, they're working on Skylanders now, Vicarious Visions, they could be working on it. It would be cool if they actually didn't cancel that Crash game they were working on. They were working on a Crash game, I promise you that. Um, there's like a famous like picture with those like, kind of like classic Crash design with kind of a new tinge. And yeah, it was um, it was put, it was it was cancelled. Um, I'm pretty sure Activision had something to do with it. And you know what? There's there's not many times that you have the opportunity to say fuck Activision, but here's another time. Fuck you, Activision. You're a disgusting company, and I fucking hate you. And you know what? I haven't bought an Activision game in years, and I don't see myself doing it anymore. I don't care about who... Just They're just a despicable company, and it's, it has nothing particularly to do with their treatment of Crash and Spyro. It's in general. It's their business practices. It's the profits of the man in charge, Bobby Kotkick or whatever. $46 million, yet they don't have enough... He gets 46 million a year, yet they don't have enough money to, what, um, maybe support the actual developers that make the games? Okay, thank you, and fuck off. Sorry, sorry about the ranting, but I just, fuck Activision, you know, like, just, there's big business bullshit, you know, like, if you're a successful business, go ahead. You know what, that's good, that's good, it's good to be successful, but you know what, maybe you should be actually supporting the people that actually do the fucking work and the coding. You know what I mean? Uh, instead of feed, lining your own pockets with unnecessary money. Who needs $46 million anyway? Anyway, okay. The point is, Crash Bandicoot is not well off being under the um, wish wa watching eye or under the ownership of Activision because they've done nothing with the series um, except for two failure, failure games and um, mobile games. And it's interesting, um, you know, uh, um, what was I going to say? Crash hasn't been seen in years. Like, that's the thing, that's the funny thing that we all kind of forget. Like, Crash hasn't been around for such a long time. I mean, the closest thing to a new Crash game we're getting is that Crash Bandicoot Crystal's Wrath, um, which looks to be a really good game, uh, developed by two um, classic, like, you know, fans of the original series. They've got, it's kind of, yeah, you know, a bit of a plug for them, but a really good job, guys, uh, if you're watching this, which you w wouldn't be, but... Um, yeah, they're, they're doing good. So type in Crash Bandicoot Crystal's Wrath, you, you'll be pleasantly surprised with this fan game. It's one of the... And also Crash Bandicoot Returns, so you know. But, I don't know, like, if only there was some way of being able to maybe just steal the textures from this game and make your own, like, platformer version, because this game has a lot of platformer-esque textures, you know what I mean? Like, it really does feel... Does it, it feels like a racing game, but it really does feel grounded in the Crash Bandicoot universe as if they were actual levels. Now, I've got a feeling that second isn't enough. Hmm. Let's retry, just because, you know, I, I want to. So I'll cut back when I win. I promise you, I will win as I get hit by an iceberg. Whoa. 
And got you. That was all perfectly timed. Sucked in, mate. You thought you're happy, but you know what? No one truly does. Okay. Okay. I failed a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I feel like... I feel like it... There we go. We did it. We did it. Worth it. Okay? It was worth it. The Activision rant was worth it because I'm, I came back and I won anyway. Cortex is so upset. Oh, last time it was Dingo that I was second, Cortex in uh, third, so... The times have changed, haven't they? With your nine trophies, you have earned the right to face Phenomena's champion, Norm. Don't let Norm's size fool you. He's a demon on the racetrack. No! You are racing today! Now do it! What the f... The deal was that you race in return for me wearing this dumb getup. Besides, they don't stand a chance. Fascinating. That's really cool. I bet you they um they absolutely loved creating the like uh, you know the designers. Yeah, they would have create you know producers of the game. They would have loved this. That was really cool. And I don't know why they cut him as laggy. I might I might have it replaced or fixed or something. Um, now where do we go? Oh, we've unlocked a cutscene. Okay. Yeah, maybe I will replay it. Okay, let's continue with that saving. And there he is. There they are. So who are they? Phenomena Championship Norm. Okay, here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.